guys already know what time it is. It's time for the rewind. As always, we'll be going through last week in gaming news with the plays and the pauses. So let's get started. Our first play is the PlayStation Indie Initiative. Sony announced last week about this new initiative. They plan to spotlight and support the best of the best indie games being published on PlayStation and the entire indie community. Their goal is to make PlayStation the best place to develop, find, and play great indie games. PlayStation has also announced nine indie games that will be coming to PlayStation. Miss what the nine indie games are? Don't worry, we got you. Reloading. The first one is Worms Rumble. It's a 32-player real-time battle royale with players fighting against each other in this cross-platform battle. Brought to you by Team 17, Worms Rumble brings in some classic weapons and some new ones with a twist. There will be events, challenges, and weapon experimentations in the lab. And plus, you can customize your players by earning XP and in-game currency so you can flex while kicking some butt. The game will release for PS4, PS5, and PC. And guess what? If you're a PC gamer, you can sign up for their beta right now. That will be running from July 15th to the 20th. Just check the description for the link on how to sign up. Next, we're going to bring you to a beautiful adventure RPG indie called Haven. It's about love and rebellion against the rules. You will play as you and Kay who have escaped to a forgotten planet, and you will have to survive together as you camp, fight, and try to restore the planet. Don't worry, you don't need to play alone. A second player can join as well and drop out as needed in local co-op. And if somebody asks for a chill indie game, well, Carto is just that. It's a chill adventure game with unique world-shifting puzzle mechanics. You'll use this power to explore mysterious lands, help a quirky crew of friends, and guide Carto on her journey home. And what will games be without a great story? Where the Heart Is is a narrative adventure game about family and how finding home can take a lifetime. And that's not all that's coming. Heavenly Bodies. Creeks. Forge and Shadow Torch and Recompile. We can't wait to see what else will be coming. Our next play brings another contender into the Battle Royale contest, Hyperscape. In Hyperscape, you will play in the unique districts of New Arcadia in a virtual city featuring imposing landmarks and even more challenging heights. You will play and hack special abilities like teleport, for quick traveling, wall, or instant cover or even reveal which pings the locations of enemies nearby. There are two ways to win in Hyperscape. You can be the last one standing or you can capture the crown that spawns and make sure that you hold possession of it. There are a lot of Twitch functionalities as well like voting on the next event like health kits, reveal spawns, or low gravity. The tech test is going on now for PC and you can sign up to play. Check our description for the link. Well, give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I'm the first one in. Now let's bring some sports in with this play. NBA 2K21 is set to release this fall with three versions. For current gen standard edition, Damian Lillard is on the cover, while on the next gen standard edition, Zion Williamson is on the cover. But there is a third edition for each gen, the Mamba Forever edition. This edition is Kobe'd out and comes at a $30 difference, but is so worth it for all the content you get. The edition comes with 100,000 VC, 10,000 My Team points, 10 My Team tokens, 
Kobe Bryant digital collection, which includes shoes and jerseys, plus a whole lot more. This is such exciting to see and a great honor just for us to remember Kobe Bryant. I'm in tango. Yeah, don't say it like that. It wasn't on purpose. We entered a new month and some new games are releasing this upcoming week, so we want to keep you guys updated. You got into this even though you knew I was pregnant. July 7th brings Catherine Full Body releasing to the Nintendo Switch. Exactly do you want? I don't know. And who knows what will happen in the future? Nothing to eradicate all demons. On July 10th, we have a few games, starting with Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2, releasing on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Fell demons. Robert. A sharpie. Never rejoice. Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, releasing on the Nintendo Switch. You're their only lifeline, just to hear. And finally, some Formula One racing with F1 2020 releasing on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Well, that's that. Now let's get to the pauses. Our first pause is not a pause for a bad reason. It's just, you know, you gotta sit down for a moment. Harry Potter Open World RPG. Now, I've been waiting since I was 10 for something like this. And if you're like me and you're a big Potterhead, then you've probably played a lot of the Harry Potter games and they're just, you know, linear examples of the story. Well, we just got teased about this open world RPG. However, it's set for 2021. There hasn't been a lot of news about it due to some issues with JK Rowling and her transphobic comments. And I think that's pretty much what's holding up the marketing. But however, development is still going. So hoping to hear something soon regarding the game. For now, we'll just pretend like the author doesn't exist. I hate to have to keep doing this to you guys, but it's another game delay. This time is Crisis Remastered and it's not as drastic or dramatic as the other ones. They do still plan to release this year, however the July 23rd date is a no-go. So crossing our fingers that we'll still get it for 2020. Achieved with CryEngine. Well, that wraps up the rewind. You can catch us on thisislevelup.net or any of our social media channels to stay up to date on the latest in gaming news. Until next time, guys.